Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I recently made a video speaking about why there was a decrease in gun sales in the month of February. And there are many reasons why. Primarily, the lack of ammo and the cost of ammo. And then you have the lack of guns and the increased price of guns and ammo. And then you look at the Joe Senile Biden administration and the potential for what they could do. And on top of that, they it's near impossible to sustain the record numbers that we have seen in the past year. But many people are still buying guns, but I had so many comments of people mentioning, you know what, we need to just stop buying ammo. We need to stop buying ammo. They compare it to the toilet paper situation in the beginning of the scandemic when people were hoarding toilet paper and buying for friends and family and they were rushing off to the stores when they heard that there were toilet paper rolls on the shelves. They went out and bought it, and we're seeing the exact same thing. So I, I see that comparison, and I find it valid. But do I think that just stop buying ammo will help ease the situation for the future? And the short answer that I have is no, I don't think that's going to happen. Primarily because everybody is in a different position in terms of ammo. You have people out there who say, I saw this coming. It was no surprise. It's a roller coaster with ammo and guns, okay, depending on what administration's in there, depending on the situation. Like, and I, I prepared, you know, a box here, a box there. We've said it several times on the channel. Many people didn't listen, and they're short. Also, if you look at why are people buying ammo, okay, you're saying, well, come on, dude, of course, people want to shoot it. Well, people actually are not shooting the ammo that they're buying. They're sitting on it, all right? Why are they sitting on it? Because of uncertainty and fear of what the future is going to look like. We don't know if this is going to end in a month or three years in a month. And so the uncertainty of it is, is where people just, they're not shooting their guns. They make, you, you go to a gun range and you used to see lines of people. You know, like there wasn't a free lane available. And then all of a sudden... Now, people are shooting maybe a mag, maybe two mags to function check a gun, and that's it. And you have all these new gun owners that want to shoot their gun a couple times and feel like they're, they're Rambo in their own house. And they're not necessarily shooting it because you, you, can't, you can't replenish it quickly. Now, I recently picked up 200 rounds of PMC bronze, and I'm, I'm, my plan is to shoot that. All right, I'm going to shoot it because I've got some things I want to do here on video, and I... The way I look at it is I have to shoot that if I want to keep this whole thing going. But many people are not. And so you're watching the, the training market decrease. You're watching the gun stores increase their prices, not just on guns, but on other products as well because they're not getting the range time rented. And so there's this cyclical effect of you know dominoes of what exactly is happening here and why is it that you know, prices are increased across the board. On top of that, you have pre-orders that have been sitting for months now where online companies took people's credit cards and people ordered ammo. They're waiting for the ammo to come in so they could get it out. So if we just stop buying ammo, like so many people suggested, how do we know when those orders will be filled? And how do we know that the people who actually stop you know, make a plan to stop buying it. If they see it available, how do we know they're not going to get it? Like I would, if if I just said, you know what, I'm done for a while. Then I go to my local gun store and see a whole bunch on the shelves. Oh, I'm buying that. And I think that mindset is pretty consistent across the board. You know, if you don't have it, you want to get it. So the idea of just stopping, I think is unrealistic. And also you've got resellers out there that'll continue to do what they're doing as long as they're making money. And then you look at many people, they're blaming the ammo manufacturers. And I'm sure many of the executives in the ammo business would look back and say, you know what, this kind of caught us by surprise too. That's why we're not seeing hunting rounds. A lot of people were like, well, you know, we're not even seeing hunting rounds. That's because they opened up more lines for the more popular rounds that are being sold, primarily 9mm. That, that, that's the one. They are pumping out 9mm left and right. So they're saying, well, you know, we blame you and... If ammo is in such demand, why don't you just open up a new plant? Well, let's talk about that for a minute. To open up a new plant, 
you are looking at potentially a year, two years, once you get the building and the tooling and everything else, all the safety measures that have to be in place, you know, we don't think about that. We're not opening up a, uh, uh, just a regular uh, tool and die manufacturing plant. We're opening up ammo where they have explosives. The, the amount of safety measures that need to be taken place just to produce that ammo are extensive. So do we stop buying ammo? You know, do we blame the manufacturers? Well, we could blame ourselves for not prepping too well, but that aside, I don't think that's going to work and I don't know when this is going to end. Nobody does. And the uncertainty of it will prevent people from stop buying ammo if they see it. And we'll have to see how this whole thing works out. But I just want to know what you think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.